Bonjour, bienvenue my channel today. Uh, we won't do a car thing today. I, I did an earlier video on just a little windshield wiper motor thing. It failed after 12 years. Seal failed and rusted. I, this channel, man, I just do whatever I do on my channel. I don't care. Uh, I talk about what I'm going to talk about. It's like a renaissance festival here. A renaissance fair. Uh, just a hodgepodge of everything I do through the day from home improvement, auto stuff, to how I'm trying to lose all my money with stocks. <laughs> Anyway, we have Bitcoin finally back above 60. It went up to 65. You know, we're back, back down to 61.9. 66 round up, 62. All right, I don't know what, who's holding this thing down yet. It's, is it BlackRock? Is it Vanguard? Is it Fidelity? Who's holding this thing down? It's got to go to the moon. Anyway, who knows where it's going to go? Uh, but there's a lot of in, in, institutional investing, private investing. The, the masses have caught wind of it. It's a digital gold, right? Anyway, I'm hoping for, I'm still holding. I hold stuff in a wallet. I also have the derivatives we'll talk about real quick here. I have Wolfie, which is a Bitcoin miner. It did shoot up to 550, which gave me a profit, but I just held it. I didn't, but I should have, I should have sold it because it dropped below my cost, average cost price. So I'm in a hole again, but eh, maybe it'll go back up, right? I'm just going to hold it because it is a derivative of Bitcoin. And they trade weird with Bitcoin, the miners. It's a different beast in and itself. So I think once I get my profits back, I might just dump it. Because with Wolf, I'm not getting any dividend. I want to get paid. I want to get paid for holding a stock. I don't just want to hold the stock. I held Tesla for years. I didn't get paid no dividend. You know, then I sell it at a loss and the thing shoots back up. Do the opposite of me and you'll do fine. Like I sold NVIDIA. I made a couple bucks and then it shot to the moon. <laughs> do the opposite of me. But what's funny is the reason I bought NVIDIA was because that criminal Pelosi bought it. And then I figured she must know inside information. Bazinga. And yeah, there you go. I should have held, held to the, followed the criminal and then profited from her. Yeah, but I, I, I chickened out. I was happy to be back in the green and dumped it, man. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Go to qual qualitative something. I forget. They follow all the Congress people's you know, trade inside trading stuff and all that. It's kind of interesting. All right, with that dividend, uh, I mean, with the other Bitcoin crap derivatives, we have Misty, the Yield Max baby of families. This puppy's back up. Uh, what Yield Max did, it kind of irked me a little bit. They split out their distribution schedule. And it used to be the seventh of each month. It screwed me off. Now I got to wait two extra weeks to get my Misty payout, which, eh, I just... I know it is what it is, but I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, I do have that. We can go check real quick. But I also jumped in the fray with Fiat and I did well. I jumped in at 19 ish around there. And for me, I've, I'm trying to balance it like, oh my God, a pair trade like Misty and Fiat. Really, it's Con Connie, which is Coinbase. I don't like Coinbase, so I don't want to mess with it. So Misty goes up, Fiat's going up. So idea when things go bad fiat's going to keep going up you know when the uh, techs are dropping and um connie Con uh, coinbase is dropping and stuff like that uh fiat's going to go up and it's, it pays a hefty dividend we'll just look at that in a sec and i'm curious to see in 10 days they will announce what the october rate will be on this puppy uh so there's fiat i did that to kind of balance out the misty so they kind of will teeter back and forth the philosophy which i'm now finding it's kind of working for me is you want to hold them for the long term because you will lose net asset value when they pay the dividend out it drops a couple bucks and then you know bitcoin goes down you're going to lose more you're going to be in the red but you're still getting that dividend so over time you know say you're down 2k you're going to get that dividend back and then you start making profit i mean it's just unless it goes to zero of course then you lose everything that's always a risk dudes there's always a risk um but that's my plan. I'm treating these yield max funds as real estate. I bought them. There's going to be maintenance upkeep. It's going to cost me a couple bucks to fix the roof, the HVAC, you know, and that's going to be what it is. But I'm getting that rent each month. I'm getting that rent each month. And that makes, that makes me happy. And that to me, I treat as income. And uh, this is all through a Roth, uh, an IRA. So not a bad deal. Not a bad um, way to do it uh, in my book. Uh, so I got that. I have, uh, like I said, Fiat. I do not have Tesla any longer. Uh, crash is the inverse of Tesla. 
And yeah, I'm kind of down on this one. I think I got it at 19. And but it paid it just paid out a dividend. I made some money, but I'm still in the red on that one. The goal is hopefully, you know, things are gonna crash with this election and the economy's just teetering, man. House of cards. Crash will go up. Uh it's kind of the pair trade. But I don't have Tesla, I dumped it. But we'll see what happens with that. I don't want to dump it. Why take a loss? I don't need it. I don't need to incur the loss right now because I am getting dividends on it. Just holding stock without getting dividends is, is frustrating. And you're just sitting there waiting, hopium, hopium that it's going to go net positive. Uh, whereas if you're down and you're getting a dividend, and if you even reinvest those dividends, you're buying at a lower price. So then you compound and keep going and keep going. So compounding interest is the, what, eighth wonder of the world. You invest each month your money. If you still have a job, I don't know, not many people have jobs left in this country. But if you still have a job and you're making money, you get a raise or a bonus. Put that in, just boom, drop it in, reinvest it. And then over time, dollar cost average on a drip dividend reinvestment plan. If you're a young dude, it pays, that's what I did. And it, it just set and forget. And that's my advice, index fund, a drip, where you're getting dividends and reinvest, you will be set. Try, instead of trying to chase the Teslas, the Nvidia, just do an index and a drip, pick an Exxon, pick a, I had Verizon too, but they're not doing too good now. But I had that for years and years. I've had Exxon since the 90s and I still hold it. And uh, there you go. And that's my advice. Index funds, reinvest into dividend reinvestment. Anything that pays a dividend and you can compound it. Over time, if you're young enough, set and forget. Um, having said all that, I also am, thank God, holding the oils. I have Exxon, like I said, for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, a couple months or a month or so, it was down near 110. I was getting a little nervous. I think it dropped to 109. I'm going, what is happening? And then, uh, for not great reasons, oil is up. You know, overseas crap. And uh, XLE is up. XLE is an ETF, Energy uh, Select Sector ETF. Uh, let's look at Exxon real quick. Exxon does pay me a dividend. I've been receiving, that's a quarterly 3%. And XLE does pay a dividend as well, 3.39%. So that is where I'm at. Just holding, holding, holding Bitcoin, holding that little, that little Bitcoin as long as I can. I got my wolf, which I'm down. I'm uh, waiting on my Misty uh, dividend announcement for October and my Fiat. Let's go over the yield max real quick. Our ETFs. You can look at, da, 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 da. let's go, I have Misty, you can go click on that. And it's slow, it's a slow site, I don't know why, it's all the background images or the, yeah, this gradient stuff, it's just killing their site, man. 84.21% distribution rate, and then you can look, here's what I was saying about the schedule. They changed it, but so last month they paid on the 5th. They were supposed to pay on the 5th this month, but they changed it. So now it's like the 26th. It kind of irked me. Uh, but here's the rate. They done really well when they came out. Four bucks per share, 252 per share, three, two. It's been dropping. So I don't know what's, I mean, there's been a lot of volatility lately with missed uh, micro strategies and sailor, uh, not sailor, but yeah, just micro strategies up and down, up and down. So hopefully October will have a decent rate maybe two bucks or so i don't know yet they haven't announced it so if you want to go look at the distribution schedule you can click here or you go to their news just go to yield max etfs news and you'll see what's going on so here's the distributions they clump them they got their puppies here their big three and then you got the groupings a b c d and i'm looking at c for fiat and misty is d delta so 1016 i'm going to see what that puppy is why do I care? Because I think Fiat is way up there. Um, blah, 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 blah. How do I do this? Is that what I wanted? Hold on. Let's go to... Do, 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 do. Is it news? Let's go to news. I want to look at something here. I want to see... Announce its distribution. So Crash came out. Again, I'm down net asset value-wise on Crash. And read the press. Read the press, Big Daddy. Oh my gosh, where are we on crash? So I got 98 cent per share, a couple bucks, and there you go. All right, so that was that. So I'm waiting to hear on what fiat will be. Let's go, am I going back here? Let's go over here. Oh, I'm gonna show you what the distribution, and now it's the distribution on funds of ETFs. So let's look at this. Is this the one I love? This is a chart. 
Oh, no. Sorry, guys. That is not the chart. Oh, let's see. Go back. I did go back. News. I closed some windows here. News. 918. 912, 905. Here we go. Let's look at last month. This is what you'll see. They get a little table comes out. Uh, let's see. Last month, some of the big players were NVIDIA paying 135 a share. And if you scroll down, I don't know what the PYPY is. All right, here we go. Misty paid out 185 per share. Let's see what Fiat paid out. Crash did 98, so they're consistent at 98 cents. Misty 185. Fiat did a two cents better, 187. So I own Fiat, Crash, and Misty. Crash is hurting me a little bit, but again, if I hold it long enough and the net, net asset value is still down, I know it's a dumb plan, but I've treated it as real estate, I'll still recoup or break even and then start building from there. It can always crash and go to zero, like I said, then, then, then you lose it all. Um, that's all I want to talk about, yield max. Oh, let's go back. Oh, I made this chart here. No, let's go over here. <clears throat> here they are. Here's some of the shares I got. And you can see some of the dividends you get. Got this much in that month. Got And it actually paid out. You can then take these dividends each month and reinvest them and buy more. And especially when you get paid out, the uh, dividend of these yield max ETFs drops a buck or two. And uh, you can buy in and then hold and rinse and repeat, you know, and you don't. And if it shoots up to say, Misty's went up to 40 bucks at one time. If you want, you can say, man, I'm going to take profits here, knowing it's going to pull back because it's, it's, it's like Bitcoin. It's up, it's down, it's all around. So, hey, my gosh, I'm up. Net asset value wise, hugely, there's nothing wrong with taking that profit and just sitting back and then waiting for it to kind of correct back down from 40 to say 25, boom, buy back in, rinse and repeat. All right. Here's, here's some of the thing. I kept buying more shares. Crash is out there. You can see what I've been consistently getting with Crash. Fiat, I have not gotten paid yet. Oh, I also have TLT, which is a bond. Uh, I don't know. Let me get the right words for it. I, made, I make 3% uh, on that. So I made 30 bucks. Woo, it's something. The, uh, the hope there is when things crash, the bonds are going to shoot up and double and then also get a nice net asset value on top of the... Um, uh, the dividend of 3%. Let's go look at TLT. TLT. Oh my. All right. TLT is a 3.69er and it's a 90. It's down a bit right now. Uh, but look, it can go. Let's see. Let's go one. Can I go one year here? Go two years. It can go up to 110. They're predicting my double. You just don't know. So this is an iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF. I'm just going to hold that. That's kind of like also my hedge. When things go, do tank, start tanking. And uh, let's just hope Bitcoin doesn't tank with everything else. Uh, I'm really pleased with the, uh, I'm almost broken even on this. Again, I buy these things at the high, which I'm an idiot. So I probably bought it at 95. And uh, that's where I'm at on those. I don't think what else, anything else I want to talk about here. Uh, I don't own any of this stuff. I was watching the miner. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, you get a dividend, you get a tweak, a, a little dividend. I think I don't want to, I don't want to get spread too thin. And so this is my fun money. I got, like I said, uh, the real money is in Exxon. Uh, the fun money is in the uh, yield max ETFs. And that's the gravy. And uh, treating it as income because it's the dividends. Now with fiat, uh, let's see, crash pays the first week. Uh, let's see, fiat pays uh, end of the second week. And then you have Misty pays the third week. So I wish it was all one day, but it makes accounting easier for the spreadsheet. But it's cool to track. Uh, but again, it is risky like anything else. You can go in a money market, but they the money market went from 5 to like 4.6% due to the, uh, the Fed messing with people's money again. Uh, yeah. So you got, I don't know. You got to watch that too. Anyway, that is where I'm at. What's our, what's our time on this? That's enough. All right, just want to make a little chat video, what's going on, where I'm at. Again, not financial advice. This is all for entertainment. Following my journey. And most times I say do the opposite of me and you'll do just fine. But uh, seeing some of the income you can get on these is really kind of exciting. Uh, yeah, but I don't know how consistent it'll be. 
and you do have to worry about nav erosion. If you're comfortable with that, then good for you. You have to learn to accept it. And I think the philosophy is, is uh, treated as real estate, long-term holds. But if it drops, I think, say Misty drops below 15, crashes, getting me nervous, it's down by 12. But Fiat and, and Misty are above 20. And when they first came out, they were at 20. So I like that they're above 20 or hovering at 20. That makes me okay. But crash got me a little nervous. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got. Let me know what you guys are up to. I will talk. Talk. I will. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I got going. I, 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 mm, I had to. I wrestled with a pull pump. I got off eBay. Never buy stuff off eBay. I don't know. Get quality stuff. I was stupid. I bought a Chinese pull motor. <laughs> And it had different L wiring hookup, and I wired it all right. And the thing just caught on fire. I went, what the heck? Give me a break. I mean, it's, these things are not that difficult to hook up. Oh, my God. So I wrestled with that, and I said, damn it. And I went back, and I reinstalled the old pump, got that. It still makes noise, but it's, you know, it's working. I'm just going to let that run until it, till it doesn't run anymore. I was trying to just replace a bad pump. Anyway, I didn't record that because I was frustrated. And then I'm wrestling with the eBay guy i think they're overseas somewhere i'm just like i'm sick of this ebay just give me my money back it's just annoying so i'm either buying amazon or a reputable online store from now on most times 80 percent time if you go to the store a reputable store with a reputable brand you're going to get it cheaper than amazon amazon prices are not the least uh are not the lowest uh you just watch that amazon actually they mark up because the the sellers on amazon have to pay a huge fee to, to to big daddy bezos uh to be on their site so they have to mark their prices up it's like a tax you're paying the extra fee through the price so you got to watch that i usually look at it and i go search elsewhere and i find oh here's the here's a reputable company blah 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 and i buy it from them and, and you're good to go also amazon prime you don't need amazon prime i canceled it four months ago now and they all keep putting in my face we'll give you free amazon again for a week Come on, you get free shipping. You still get free shipping. You just have to go select a box, radio button, free shipping, and you get it. You'll still get it. You don't get it in two days, and they kind of got away with that anyway with Prime. So I now save 150 bucks or so uh, each year by not having Prime, uh, and I still get my packages. So win, win, win. And Amazon Video, Prime, whatever the video service, started to go really bad anyway because they put commercials in everything. Well, wait a minute. I'm paying. You're putting commercial. I, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. And you know what? Here, I, I'm a, yeah, I don't know. There's other ways. You can watch videos of Pluto TV using different browsers and stuff so you don't have to watch commercials. Anyway, just rant. The rant is over. Oh, what are you guys doing? We got another hurricane forming out in the Gulf. Is it manipulation of weather? What is happening? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm getting so sick of this stuff. But I will see you guys. I'll see you in the next video.